Yo, my buhai and what's good guys. Welcome to another Axie Infinity video. My name is Randy and today we're going to be asking a question that affects a lot of new players. Um, for you veterans out there, probably doesn't affect you as much anymore. But for me, uh, I came across it recently. Um, it's a question that I asked myself and it's made me feel like I've been doing things the wrong way uh, these last few days. So we're going to ask and answer that question now. So the question is, is it better to focus on SLP or EXP, uh, experience points? So for a lot of people out there, SLP might be the number one focus right now, um, especially if you're a new player. And that might very well be true, especially if maybe you're a scholar or you're part of a team or you can't afford your own axes and you're just focused on um, the SLP because obviously it's going to help you earn that money, help you pay some bills and everything. And um, there's nothing wrong with that. If that's the case for you, I'm all for it. Uh, continue to do you focus on what works best for you. But I'm just also here to shed some light on something that concerned me. And I realized uh, two weeks into my Axie Infinity journey, you probably feel me leaning towards focusing on XP rather than SLP. Let's look at a few charts and crunch some numbers and we'll get a clear picture of all of this. So the first thing we want to do is head over to our favorite website. Let me pull that up now. And we are on axiedge.com again, guys. Again, I mentioned this in my last video. This is like the manual for Axie Infinity. Uh, if you're a new player, has all these guides and articles helped me out tremendously. So definitely uh, take a look at this website. You're going to find the SLP farming guide here. Um, so basically, if you really want to just focus on SLP and you're at a high level, this is something you definitely want to follow. Um, but if you're a newbie and a low level, just like myself, you might want to consider everything I'm going to say in this video. Um, let's see, scroll down here to PVP arena mode, and you're going to see guys that you're going to earn a certain amount of SLP depending on your ranking, your global ranking here that if you are ranked 800 to 999, you get one SLP. If you're rank 1000 to 1099, you get three SLP, etc., etc. You guys probably already know this because when you started a game, I think we all start around here. I think every season. I'm not sure. If you scroll down here to adventure mode, you're going to see that depending on which level that you play, you're going to earn a certain amount of SLP also. So if you play uh, level five to nine, you're going to win two SLP, 10 to 14, you're going to win four SLP. And just wanted to remind the new players that you need energy to earn XP in adventure and rewards in arena. Okay, don't forget that. So when you play arena, you cannot win SLP unless you have energy and you and you can't win XP at all in arena mode. You can only earn XP in adventure mode. Okay. Also in adventure mode, if you have energy, you're earning XP and SLP. Remember, you win a certain amount of SLP guaranteed just depending on which level you're playing. All right. Uh, the reason I want you guys to review this is because it, it's going to affect our calculations that we're about to do right now. Hey guys, we are here in my notepad on my Chrome browser and you're going to see I have some markings here on the right side of the paper. I'm going to explain that what that is to you right now. I want you to go here to your battle log here on the bottom right. Go ahead and click it. And this is going to have the win and loss ratio of all of your battles. Well, it's going to be a, a record of all your battles. And then we're just going to calculate the win loss ratio. So what you do is you get your 20 win, uh, your 20 last matches. Uh, in this case, I lost my last two and I won this one. I won this one. You want to go down all the way to 20 and record all of that. That is the uh, markings you saw on my paper previously. All right, so we are back here at my win and loss rate. So you're going to go ahead and count your wins. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve out of 20 uh, wins. Let me get my pencil out. 12 out of 20. And if you uh, do the percentage on that, that's a 60% win rate so i have a 60 percent win rate not bad not good 
you might be above or below this i feel like i'm the average player i'm not the best um and with my lineup i feel like i'm constantly at 60 percent win rate okay guys before i continue on this let me go back to axie infinity to explain to you why i chose the number 20. why did we get 20 matches why not 30 why not 10. let's go back to axie infinity and we're gonna go back here and you're gonna see we only have 20 energy that's the max amount of energy we can have per day as a new player if you're a new player and you have more than 10 axes you have 40 energy per day and 60 energy per day if you have more than 20 axes i'm just speaking for the average axie player like myself who only has one set of axes um, and really can't afford more at this point and so i only get five energy every six hours which comes out to be 20 energy per day so if i focus on arena i'm farming slp in arena only i'm only going to get to play 20 times per day we head back over here to our notepad guys and we put the 12 out of the 20 i guess matches the opportunities we have to earn slp that's our t average and then we're going to multiply that by a number now so what number are we going to use me myself i'm going to use three because i know i've been hovering right here at this level earning three slp every match for the last uh 20 games now some of you might be under that or earning only one slp some of you might be over it uh earning seven slp if you want a more accurate number guys crunch the numbers yourself record your next 20 matches and see how much slp exactly you earn for the sake of this short video i'm just going to use an average of three so i'm going to go back here we're going to multiply this uh my three slp per 12 games and i'm earning about 36 slp per day right okay this is arena mode So 36 SLP per day, not bad. We're not calculating the quest and all that because everyone earns the quest, right? You'll earn it whether you do adventure mode or SLP. You better be doing it because if you're not, then you shouldn't even be watching this video. You got another problem to focus on and that's farming the right way. Okay, so um, now we're going to do adventure mode. Okay, and to do adventure mode is a little bit easier basically we're just gonna go ahead and add a 20 here why do we just go ahead and add 20 because hopefully you're playing an adventure mode or a, a level that you know you're gonna win right why are you gonna play uh the level that you're having trouble beating over and over you're just wasting xp and you're wasting energy and right now i'm stuck at level 10 i can't beat it so i don't even play it i'm focusing on all of these levels maybe five through nine gives me the most slp for my time so going back to our calculation we're just going to go ahead and uh, put a 20 here so what is our average slp gain we're going to go over here to adventure mode and again we're taking an average okay so this average is a little bit more rough because when you play a level uh for the first time in the day you'll get a lot of xp and then when you keep repeating that level it'll go down a little so you figure out how you want to com um, compute your average i myself i know i'm doing level five through nine and i'm winning two slp per win um i'm not even past level 10 and it's not worth it for me to do level one through four so this is the sweet spot here two slp i'm gonna go ahead and add that average here to my chart um so that is two and you do the calculation there you're getting 40 slp per day here right now let me just complete that all right so now um Mo a lot of you probably won't agree with this but a lot of you will probably feel like no way i earn more slp than that than adventure mode okay fine you have a higher win loss ratio than i do you're slightly better than the average player okay let's give you 40 also or maybe not even 40 let's give you 45 let's just let's just make this very lenient okay so the point i'm trying to make guys is that these numbers are pretty much 
similar. So for all of you newbies out there, just like myself, who are grinding every day in arena mode, like making that money, feeling like, oh, I'm every SLP I earn is money in my pocket. If you grind in uh, adventure mode, you're not very far off. So even if you are earning more SLP in arena mode than adventure mode, what are the benefits of focusing on adventure mode? Why are you telling me this, Randy? Why, why, what, what is this for? Okay, let's talk about the benefits of focusing on XP and not on SLP if you're a new player. So let's go back over to Axie Edge. Um, the reason you want to focus on XP first and leveling as fast as you can is that you are buying yourself a ticket to the big game to the big boys table, the big girls table, right? You're playing the same exact game, but the stakes are higher. Okay, so if you are here where I am, we're making three SLP per win. What is the difference of playing here making seven SLP per win? Absolutely nothing. You're just playing in a bigger game, higher stakes. Uh, your competition is probably more difficult. As the average new player, there is nothing you can do to get to the higher ranks or the bigger games other than focusing on your XP. If you are a new player and maybe you're a scholar, maybe you have a team uh, uh, and you have mentors and that have money, I mean, maybe you can ask your, your mentor for a better team. Maybe you can ask your team to uh, switch out a better composition for you. For those of you who are like me who can't really get more axes at this moment, there's nothing we can really do to change this other than leveling our character so i really haven't done this myself yet guys because i'm so new to the game i'm currently doing it right now on the daily but i haven't been able to level up to the next um ranking yet but just me playing games my whole life and me just making a prediction about how all of this works i really truly feel like i can actually level up my character and stay consistent in this next level winning seven slp per win in arenas mode and the same thing goes for adventure mode this one is more obvious though this one is not really a prediction this one is um actual common sense the faster i get to level 17 to 20 or 21 to 36 i'm gonna be making 10 to 20 slp per win so the focus is to level up fast Two more things guys that uh, most people aren't really thinking about is that rewards you get a one-time reward by beating level 21 you get 200 slp and when you get to level 36 you get 300 slp that's 500 slp right there guys so all that slp that you lost because you didn't focus on arena mode and you went straight to adventure you just got a lot of it back right here and the final thing guys the most important thing that most of you don't actively think about maybe you passively think about it when you're when you're playing axie the most important thing guys is time time right maybe this is a second job for a lot of you maybe it's side money for a lot of you but if you've been playing for a week you start to feel the grind a little right i mean i'm still having fun even though i'm grinding it out but there are moments in the day where i'm like oh man i gotta complete all of my dailies man i gotta i gotta knock this out because i got something else to do later right so we head over back here over to the map and we got to ask yourself that question. Knowing that you only get 100 SLP in adventure mode per day, how are you going to acquire that SLP? Are you going to play level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, earning 1 to 2 SLP until you add up to 100? That's going to be like 30 games, 40 games, guys. Or are you going to level up your character so you can be playing level 21, 22, 23, winning 10 to 20 SLP per match. It's only gonna take you five to 10 games to get your daily SLP from adventure mode, guys. And if you scroll down here, guys, you're gonna see tips on adventure mode SLP farming. And check this out, guys. The tip of the day is focus your time on quick to beat levels. I find levels 15 through 20, 15 to 26, not only the quickest to beat, but also give the highest rewards. These are also the most consistently winnable levels, so you're not wasting your time on potential losses just for the chance of a quicker win. It's all laid out for you guys here on Axie Edge SLP Farming Guide. Take a look at it. 
bookmark this page and let me know what you think so guys i also forgot to mention if you like this video and you want to learn how to farm xp quickly and efficiently go check out my previous video i went over it yesterday it has a lot of useful information and will get you farming xp like a champ i'll have the link down below veterans out there your opinions are greatly appreciated please let me know what you think about this video and my strategy is this something that you wish you knew earlier or is this something that just doesn't work and if this video was helpful for you please consider giving this video a thumbs up guys it does wonders to the algorithm and is greatly appreciated especially for a new uh, content creator such as myself and if you want to see more videos just like this please consider subscribing down below I'm just as much invested in axie infinity just like yourself and i want to make so many more videos i got so many ideas in my head uh, so stay tuned for that i'll see you in the next one peace